Will rampant cyber attacks transform the role of chief security officers into chief risk officers who manage assets as well as IT security? Earlier this year at the Black Hat Conference in Las Vegas, I asked security pros about the changing world of IT risk and security. I think that's a change that's well underway. I mean, if there's one thing that's clear, especially at a show like the one we're at here today at Black Hat, it's that the state of breach is just a reality for any organization, including a government organization. And for a chief security officer, I think that changes things from managing vulnerabilities to managing risk. I think the CISO's role for some time has been moving more towards a chief risk officer. It's obviously uh, more beneficial to the business. You know, the business thinks in terms of business risk and business impact, uh, whereas uh, chief security officers uh, have come from the direction of IT security, and I think it's uh, generally a good idea and a great move when you see a CISO who structures his program more as a, a risk-based program. But how will this transition work? The role of the chief security officer is, is going to naturally evolve into a chief risk officer, and part of that is the fact that uh, security as a defensive strategy is always going to have a component that is uh, about making trade-offs, budget, time, energy. And those trade-offs that you're making are risk trade-offs. Is it worth spending this money to protect this asset, or am I willing to take a certain amount of risk? Uh, it's always been that way. The, the change in title from security to risk uh, really is not new. Uh, they've been doing that job for years. It varies a little bit by industry, but we have been seeing it for some time, in, uh, especially in um, some of the higher risk industries like financial services. And we're beginning to see it more and more in other critical infrastructure industries as well. Uh, part of the driver for that is that in these industries, um, cyber risk and information security risk are some of the most important elements of the operational risk framework of these companies. And so managing that under the umbrella of operational risk and more broadly the enterprise risk framework um, seems to make a lot of sense. Jody Brazel explained challenges risk officers face today. That person in that position must be evaluating the risk of the organization and be making decisions based on risk. That's been a challenge for many years because they're simply not getting the information necessary to make an effective decision. Uh, they're making decisions based on some really technical detail uh, that is not uh, at the right level of information. It's not evaluating uh, the entire scope of the enterprise, uh, the existing threat landscape, the existing uh, defensive measures, and then, of course, the importance of the assets they're trying to protect. Combining all that information together and getting a risk picture uh, or, you know, at best case, a risk score at which you're measuring and managing the effectiveness of your security, that's what's needed to truly transition that uh, position from chief security officer to chief risk officer. For more security news from the Black Hat Security Conference, check out the Black Hat web series on GovTech.com.